Hi everyone, I am Emerson Jam, Microsoft MVP. Today, I will share with you about how how to integrate Microsoft Graph with Mock Framework V4 only four steps. But you still need to code in. <laughs> okay, let's for the prerequisite. The first, you need to have a Microsoft Azure account because we need to sign up with the Azure Active Directory and restart the application. The second one is either is Visual Studio 2017 or Visual Studio 2019. The third one, you must have SharePoint Online, Bot Framework Emulator, and OGIS File Account. OGIS File Account that means that it's an uh, enterprise account. For example, like MV Jiang Sun at MVP on duty dot on microsoft dot com it's not your normal upload uh, dot com email or hotmail or live dot com okay for the first step i will demo to you register your app in azure active directory microsoft graph explorer using postman the third one the last one is integrate with the microsoft graph with bot framework v3 or v4 because at the end, I will show you my GitHub wrapper. I got one is in the V3, Bot Framework V3, and another one is the Bot Framework V4. Okay, at first, uh, let's go for restart your app in Azure Active Directory. Okay, let's go. Okay, first, I go to my Azure account to go to the Azure Active Directory, the first banner. Then you need to register your application, app registration. Okay, I I already have registered, but you need to add new registration and graph bot. Remember, copy down your application ID, your tenant ID, and also another one is the secret certificate and secret you need to create by yourself. New client script. You also must be copied down, and then you need to assign assign the application API permission. Okay, you just add permission. You can find out the Microsoft Graph. I need this all uh, permission from the admin, and after that you run admin concern for the permission user permission. Then after that, you go through. You go through the. Uh, you create your bot. I will create bot with version four. Then you go to your setting. Then at setting, then enter. I no need to uh, create a new setting. I will create one. Then you enter your client ID, client secret tenant ID, and the scope you can put empty or none because you already assigned the application with the permission. Okay, then let's go for the second one. This one uh, is a Microsoft Graph Explorer. Microsoft Graph Explorer, you go. We search for Graph Explorer. For example, like um, you got a lot of permission. Then at first, I just try out one graph. I because I want to find my document inside my SharePoint. For example, I dive up. I will run the query. Then you can see that this one. I found my file, found the file of my file name and the web UI. Mm, okay, never mind. Let's run one more time. Okay. Also, never mind. 
as long as the sun you okay you see orange had a had a okay that shirt my file from my drive my from my sharepoint you can see i got new and my and the ui of the file okay let's go for the third one the third one is very important because i use the postman the postman you can set up uh, the Microsoft Graph environment that you can shoot from GitHub or yeah shoot from GitHub. Then I set up my client ID, client script, then ID app as a token, username and password as user access token, then start ID, list ID. Then I need to request a token, app app as only access token, and send. Then I copy down this app access token and copy and I put at my the I the query for get method in a postman and I copy and paste it here. Let's try the token expire or not. Okay, unknown error. Now, my let's try a few things. Okay, you get it. Get the thing. Get my file name and also the URL of the file in the SharePoint. And after that, I like this piece just a lot. You go to quote section because I'm using C sharp and I copy this one and paste in my Visual Studio 2019. Right? 2017. I hit you can see that here I still got the web config. That means that uh, I still using the bot framework uh, V3. Okay, I just copy and paste at and this first portion you can see I request for a token and the second is that I request the file from the uh, SharePoint because without the token you cannot get the file from a SharePoint okay let's go for the emulator at first you are uh, when you type hi to the chat box and it will authenticate it with, with the code you need to paste authentication uh, code then you you will uh, prompt up your office okay uh, your process 266767 then after that after that it will ask you the about your reply you but I only want to check that uh, that form because I only got this few file, then it will display the few file for you. Yeah. I I had uh, taught you a four step register your app in Azure Active Directory, Microsoft Graph Explorer, using the Postman integrate Microsoft Graph with Bot Framework. Then that's all for my demo. This is the simple URL code and also the bot framework v4 lab because you need to always update your chat uh, bot framework to the latest SDK because Microsoft stop support the S bot framework SDK version 3 if you got any question you can go through the techconnect.io that's all for today thank you very much